Do you want to improve your time management and work-life balance? Do you have 30 minutes of free time? Then a weekly planning session is your answer. Anytime I'm asked what you can do to improve your week as a whole, my answer is always the same. I 100% stand behind the success of a weekly planning session. In this video, I'll talk about why weekly planning sessions are so successful and what problems they help solve. Be sure to stay tuned till the end when I'll share ideas for what you can include in your next weekly planning session. Let's get started. If you like learning how to be more productive and make the most of your time during the day, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss any of my upcoming videos where I share time management tips that you can start using today. Now, what is a weekly planning session? It's nothing big or fancy. Like I said, it can take you 30 minutes or less to complete. You simply sit down and plan the week ahead of you. Here's why taking the half hour to do this is so helpful. Reason number one, you know what to expect in the week ahead. This is your opportunity to zoom out and look at what's on your calendar for the upcoming week. Look at the week as a whole so you know what vibe to expect. Is this week gonna feel hurried or rushed because you've got a lot of things on the calendar? Or is it gonna feel chill and relaxed because you've got a lot of open space? Or is it somewhere in between? You can also set expectations with yourself and with others about what each day of your week will look like. What's top priority? What can you commit to on days that you have space available? What gets pushed to next week when you might have more capacity? If you've ever written a super long to-do list and only knocked out maybe four things off of that list, I'll bet you felt like you failed. Or you managed to knock 12 things off of your list, but those 12 things weren't incredibly important, so you're still left feeling stressed out. I actually have a video about choosing what's most important so you can tackle your to-do list with purpose, so be sure to check that out. Looking at your week as a whole can help you avoid these feelings of stress and failure. You can create a manageable to-do list based on what your week looks like so you can end your week feeling accomplished and satisfied. Let's move on to reason number two. You avoid decision fatigue. Have you ever felt like if you have to make one more decision at the end of the day, your head will explode? The average adult makes somewhere around 35 thousand decisions each day, and 250 of those alone are just about food. What to eat, when to eat, do we buy takeout or cook, do we need groceries, what's in the pantry? The more decisions we have to make, the worse we get at making decisions. A weekly planning session helps you avoid decision fatigue because you're making a bunch of decisions in advance instead of getting stuck making them when you're in the thick of it. Remember how many decisions we make regarding food alone? One of the best ways to avoid decision fatigue with your weekly planning session is to plan your meals in advance. You don't have to meal prep in advance unless you want to. Meal prepping involves cooking a big batch of food at the beginning of the week and portioning it out over the remaining days. Meal planning is simply deciding what you'll eat and when. Will you bring lunch to work? And if so, what are you bringing? Do you have any lunch meetings scheduled? If you have to work late one day or you know you have a late meeting, can you just plan in advance to buy takeout or eat leftovers that night? If you've ever gotten home at the end of a long day and opened up an empty fridge, you know how frustrating and annoying that feels. When you decide in advance, you can plan in advance. Oh, and if you want to make meal planning a regular thing, there's a link down in the description to an episode of the It's About Time podcast that you'll definitely want to hear. Aside from meal planning, there are so many other things that you can plan in a weekly planning session that can stop decision fatigue in its tracks. Which brings us to reason number three. You can identify obstacles and potential solutions. A weekly planning session helps you identify any challenges you might face so you can come up with solutions before there's a real problem. Let me give you an example. When looking at the week ahead, you might notice that on Thursday, you've double booked yourself. You have a dentist appointment at the same time you're supposed to be leading a meeting at work. When you notice this conflict during your weekly planning session on Sunday, 
you can easily make a note to reschedule your doctor's appointment when the office opens on Monday. Or you can choose to reschedule that Thursday meeting and let everyone on your team know about the change. Now, imagine that you don't notice this conflict ahead of time. You spot it Wednesday night or worse, Thursday morning. What a mess. You can use weekly planning sessions to be proactive with work too, not just avoid disasters. Say you have a big project deadline coming up. By planning ahead, you can map out time blocks to finish your project successfully by the deadline. If you don't zoom out and look at the week as a whole, that important deadline might sneak up on you. And then you might have to stay up late and scramble to finish on time, stressing yourself out and potentially putting others in a bind. And of course, planning ahead can be just for fun. Why not make plans for the upcoming weekend that might not be possible at the last minute? You could buy tickets to an event or a movie. You could make a reservation for dinner. You could surprise your family with a kind of spontaneous day trip and use that weekly planning session to ensure it goes off without a hitch. So there you have it, friends. Three big reasons why you need a weekly planning session. One, you get a bird's eye view of the week ahead. Two, you make a bunch of decisions at once, cutting back on decision fatigue. And three, you spot potential obstacles and opportunities, and you can handle both in advance and it all takes 30 minutes or less. But let's say you need a little bit more guidance on setting your priorities for the week. If that sounds like you, I encourage you to check out my Get a Game Plan workshop. In this workshop, you'll learn how to create a plan that enables you to win your week before it starts. Lesson one helps you decide what matters most. Lesson two helps you design your winning week. And lesson three teaches you to define your weekly game plan. Access the Get a Game Plan workshop in the link in the description below. And make sure to check out the rest of the links there that I mentioned in this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next video chock full of time management tips. I'll see you there.